Here is your cabin heat and your engine anti ice on the right side. Lots of cool bleed air system there. Here's your outside air temperature. Check, take note, make sure that thing's working properly. Different than the Robinsons, you can actually see it has a specific, you know, MD helicopter 369 HS. Pretty cool little setup right there. Very nice. Got the compass right next to it. Coming on down here, make sure there's nothing that would prevent the controls from going full travel. Make sure the pins are installed on the pilot's torque pedals. And the torque pedals. Fire extinguisher is installed. Now, where's the battery for this thing? Pretty, pretty cool little location here. Just pull this up. This is your battery. So here's your battery. There's some other electrical terminals down here. Just make sure everything looks proper. No hoses have come undone. You get a flashlight and look around here. Right behind the fire extinguisher on the pilot's door. This is the upper pin that holds the door on. The lower pin, obviously, is right below the fire extinguisher. Coming on down. Second pin. It looks a little bent, but it is properly installed. Nothing's coming out. All right, so we just checked the back rear compartment. We checked the belts, door pins, all the interior. Make sure all the screws are nice and tight. We checked the front area. There's we checked the inertia locks and the uh, shoulder harnesses. We checked the door pins. We checked the fire extinguisher. We checked all the controls. Make sure there's nothing prohibiting movement. Check the battery. Check all electrical terminals, door pins. The, uh, everything on the bottom. Let's move back to the turbine. Make sure nothing's leaking back there. To open up the cowling on the 500, there's three little clips. One right here, one on the center, right underneath the exhaust, and one on the right side. So first things first, just push up on this little clip here. Flip this forward. Clip will come off. Come underneath. Do the same thing. We've already done the left side, so just simply swing that open. Swing it open, and see there's this little attachment pin right here. Swing that up. Swing this up, and there's a little pin right here. You can hold that to keep the door open. Otherwise, it's going to try to keep shutting on you during your pre-flight. We'll go do the same thing for the other door. All right, we're going to be doing the pre-flight inspection on the C18. This is in the 500C model, starting with the left side. Right, so coming on in here, let's just start from the top and work our way down around the turbine. You got these tubes right here. This is These are your diffusers coming down into your combustion chamber, your burner can. You have, and that, those are on both sides. Then you have your igniter, and then right next to that with the, the orange insulation on it is your fuel line. It's the hot section with all your turbine wheels. Now, what you're going to be looking for, you just want to make a visual inspection, make sure nothing looks out of the ordinary, no cracks. Come down the diffuser, check, the, check out the burner can, you know, looking for any of the, the unusual stuff. Make sure all these bolts are nice and tight. Coming on down, check out this igniter, okay? This is what you're going to be hearing on the startup, that, that ticking noise. Make sure the safety wire is installed, which it is. And here's your fuel line, right here. So make sure there's no leaking. Everything's nice and tight. Safety wires are installed. This little silver line coming off the bottom, this extends through um, your cowlings, okay? This is like a little drain for excess fuel, probably prior to startup, um, so that any, no fuel is in there when you start trying to light this thing. Coming up the uh, combustion chamber, you have all the bolts. Make sure those are properly installed, nice and tight. Here is oil. Here are some oil lines. Okay, safety wire. Make sure the safety wire is on there. A lot of money's back here, so make sure even if the safety wire is not there, you're questioning it. If it's not there, make you know go go ask a mechanic. Come with the fuel lines, another uh, fuel inlet. Make sure the torque stripes are on those couplings there safety wire um, and there's several other inlets which will fall around on the other side a little bit see this guy this cable right here these are temperature probes for your TOT okay so probe here probe down there and probe on the other side. so there's three of those TOT probes what it does it, it basically gives an, an average and it runs it out of the line 
on the other side which will follow here in a second actually is this line it goes around up inside the cabin so coming on up here's your exhaust stacks um, these are the two stacks that you would see cut ranger well turbines on top on a jet ranger this thing's in the bottom so this is your fuel pickup line see the torque stripe the coupling insulation follow this guy all the way around so where this line goes into that is your engine driven fuel pump notice everything's tight torque stripes are on there you've got the fuel lines coming in and out torque stripes are on there properly nice and tight this is your starter generator this black thing with the mesh uh, when you're starting it, this is your starter. Once you start it, everything's running. You flip the switch and now that is your alternator, your generator to produce power so you don't drain your batteries. Looking for any leaks along the fuel lines and oil lines, really any lines, you're looking for leaks, holes, chips, anything that doesn't look good. Uh, here's your fuel filter. Make sure safety wire once again, no leaks. You've got torque stripes, follow that on up on up and around right above here's your engine driven fuel pump right above that is your governor okay we're going to show you here in a, uh, a little bit on how what what happens when you adjust that governor uh, this is what controls your rpms this is what keeps them at the top of the green at the top of the limits or wherever you want them to be check it out um, no leaks around these fuel lines here is here's a bit essentially uh, uh, a push pull tube, a rod, some rod ends. Torque stripes are on there. Make sure they're tight. Now, once again, MD likes to use a lot of crown nuts with cotter pins. Crown nut coming off the top of this governor. The crown nut with cotter pin. Follow that to the left. Another crown pin, crown nut with a cotter pin. Here's a bell crank essentially. Make sure all the crown nuts do have cotter pins. Follow this down. You've got another push pull tube with the rod end. Make sure it can twist, if anything, but it can't move up and down or side to side or back and forth. Following that down, this is what when you adjust um, your little ticker on your collective to adjust your RPMs, that's all this is doing. There's a little motor inside and that's moving this push-pull tube to the bell crank over here to the governor. You can see this little needle here. When you adjust your RPMs, over there's minimum, over here is maximum. And here, we'll, we'll show you in a little bit of what that looks like when you're, when you're adjusting the RPMs to keep them where you want them. This is a little beeper. This is what controls the RPMs, maintains them where you want them. Um, you go up to increase the RPMs, go down to decrease. So make sure those motors work both directions. All right, so here's that, that linkage we were talking about that goes up to the governor. There's a little motor that drives the governor controlling our RPMs. So if we say if we uh, bump it down, what'll happen, there's a little motor and it's on the collective, you just bump it down a little bit more. That's how it does that, it controls the fuel. If we bump it up, just pushes that needle back up, increasing the fuel. So, it's kind of cool. So there's your governor right above that. See where the, all those bolts are in place? That is your your gearbox. Right above that is one of your mounting points for your turbine, your gearbox. Safety wires properly installed. No cracks around uh, the joint. There. Follow these down to the firewall. Your frame attachment point looks solid coming down attachment point looks solid there's this black line okay this black line just goes up there comes around follow it up goes in and also there's another one up there that just ends right there that line is basically uh, like a breather line on the 44 um, in closed compartments they need more airflow so they stick these ventilation tubes um, if that's a correct term um, to help try to keep things a little cooler than they normally would. Alright, there's a line right there coming around. Check for leaks once again. Any line, look for leaks. Make sure torque straps are installed. And this goes all the way up to where your compressor's at. Way up there. Hard to see here. 